Hey guys, welcome to another Fusion 360 tips. So um, in this tip, I'm going to show you guys uh, something that is designed in my Udemy Fusion 360 course uh, that is live on Udemy. Links are in the description. Uh, so this is this um, cup assembly for a automatic um, water condensing cup. So you sit on your desk and it condenses water out of, your air, out of the air and automatically fill, refills every time that you come home for a gaming session or CAD session or whatever you want to do. So that's the concept. Anyways, so uh, this is the section. So you notice here that in the section it will automatically uh, make each of these components a different color. Well, th this that's because I set the component color to be different inside of uh, here you can see that the cup is yellow and then this guy is green and then the bottom plate which is like this one I think is uh, pink and so sometimes this will also kind of do it automatically almost but uh, not everything will automatically do that and that's main. this is mainly for assemblies but if you'll notice if I turn off the assembly everything looks the same so obviously you're not going to be able to see the Peltier cooler because it's on the inside, so that's why you can't see it. But it'd be like, okay, well, sometimes in certain assemblies you can't tell where one part begins and the other one ends. And so if you have a large assembly, you're like, okay, well, I have 15 parts here. Where does this one end and where does this one start? And also it helps with uh, this uh, cool tip will help with being able to see if something is clipping into each other, so if uh, parts are uh, interfer uh, if there's interference between uh, multiple parts, and what that is is under the inspect window, you could change it to display component colors. So it says display each component in an assembly as a different color to match them easier to differentiate. Hide physical materials and uh, appearances. So obviously here you would have a different color. Uh, the, it would be the physical material, right? Or if you set the color differently. So obviously on some of those I've set the color, right, to be different, right? So here what it will do is it will hide all that stuff, right? So if I click here, you can now see that instead of um, having the different colors, uh, so now instead of having just the different colors in the uh, cross section, now I have the different colors uh, outside. And I believe that this is actually how that these were set, is I set them in this assembly, and then I hit save, and then that's when it went in and uh, did all the preferences here. So now also, uh, when I have it in the uh, analysis, you can see that now the whole thing is that color. And on this side, you can see that we have the, the different colors next to the the different components so that way I can look over here and be able to tell which uh, component is which and I could easily visually see where one starts and one begins if for whatever reason you don't see a crack or if uh, something is going inside something else so if this one was going down and this one was going up you wouldn't be able to see the crack right uh, because it would be covering it and so this is one way that you can easily be able to uh, see the differences right and as you can see, there's no dialog that comes up. It just automatically does it. And then you can go in here and change the uh, the properties, the appearance, right? So you can go in here and change the appearance of the different colors or whatever you want to do, right? And then there was another option um, to pick, like, which color is which but uh, I can't remember that at this point. But So it's just uh, uh, you can go through and experiment with it. And you can see also that there are some, uh, the colors also, the color coordination also goes down there to the bottom. So just a quick uh, tip on how to kind of make your view a little bit more colorful and a little bit more distinctive of where parts begin and where parts end and also to allow you to understand the size of the assembly that you have. Now, these colors will only do the color for a component for that particular component. And if you have multiple copies of the component, it'll be the same color. So if I have multiple copies of the Peltier cooler, if I was using four Peltier coolers, and then this was just copied, 
right? So if it said uh, Peltier Cooler V3, 1, 2, 3, 4, then those 1, 2, 3, 4 will all be green, right? So it will only do the color if, uh, it'll only change the color if it's a different component. If it's a copy of the same component, it'll be the exact same color. So just uh, be aware of that. And so if you want it to have a different color, then um, create a different component, and then uh, then you will have a different color. All right, so that is basically it for this tip. Uh, I teach on Udemy, if you guys don't know. Uh, I teach uh, Fusion as well as 3D printing and other technology courses. Links are in the description for my beginning Fusion 360 as well as my intermediate Fusion 360 class. Soon I'll be working on an advanced 3D uh, Fusion 360 class. And if any other subjects, technology subjects that you guys are interested in, go ahead and check out my Udemy page. I'm working on classes all the time, one of my little side businesses. So uh, go ahead and check it out uh, periodically. And I'll see you guys in the next tips and tricks video. Subscribe for more. Thanks. Bye.